Hi, Jan here again. Welcome back to the channel. I, I have to apologise straight away. I still can't get the settings right on this camera, but I'm just trying and trying and failing to, to record videos and get them up and, and it's all going horribly wrong at the moment. I think I mentioned yesterday that I'd um, done a video on my phone, which is normally okay, and uh, shot it in landscape so it's nice to watch on, on however you watch it, but it somehow uploaded onto YouTube in portrait, but so the whole thing was side over. So. If you were watching it on your phone you could just turn your phone around but if you're watching it on a, a desktop or a TV you'd be sitting like that just trying to see what was going on so that one's not happening. Um, I wasted so much time trying to get it back the way the way up it should be. Then this morning I've just tried to record um, a quick freezer inventory in the kitchen but because I have to sit on the floor to look through what's what's in the freezer um, I couldn't get the camera angle right and reach it to press record so it's just been a catalogue of errors so I thought in order just to get a video up and out I would just sit here and um, have a quick update on what I plan to do with all the things that I bought yesterday because I really want to stop the freezer up with um, ready-made dinners because there are often times when um, especially going into the winter because of um, Neil has Hashimoto's which always seems to get worse this time of year and if he's not well enough to prepare food for us and I'm not well enough to do it then if it's in the freezer already cooked and all we've got to do is pull it out and heat it up then at least we're going to have a nutritious meal. So of the things, sorry there's noises going on out there, I don't know what on earth they're doing. Um, of the the bits and pieces that I bought. What I'm planning to make are some shepherd's pies. Always a favourite with everyone, aren't they? And they freeze so beautifully. And then I wanted to make a, um, I'll probably use the crock pot that you see behind me. I've got a great big crock pot. And I will just cook up a whole load of mince um, in, um, in tomato sauce in, in a, an Italian style. So we'll have um, mince there for spaghetti bolognese. I'll also have then the basis for lasagna so I can make up some lasagnas and then I'll also use a third of it to um, add some more ingredients and make into a chilli. I've just actually found two chilies in the fridge which we need to eat as well so we've, we've got two meals left from the last batch cook and then I also wanted to use some of the um, the mince meat to make up some Italian meatballs so that we can you know if, if they're frozen um, just a, just the right amount of meatballs and some sauce then it's just a case of pulling them out cooking up some spaghetti which doesn't take a minute on the day does it and um, then with the chicken um, I plan to do like some chicken in, with leek and some chicken with mushrooms I'm undecided at the moment whether I'm just going to do it in a creamy sauce and just freeze it like that so we can then have it with um, with rice or with pasta or whatever or whether I'm actually going to make some pastry and make them into pies you know part of me thinks it would be, be nice to have it made into pies but that also means that if I were to do that I've got to empty out the entire cupboard to look for the pie dishes which will go in the freezer. So it's all, with me at the moment, everything that I want to do, it seems to be there's 15 jobs to do in order to get to do the one that I wanted to do. Then I've got um, beef casserole, beef hot pot my mum used to call it, you know it's one of my favourite dinners. And I wanted to, to do the same with lamb, but I've got the lamb shoulder which now needs chopping up first. Um, then I wanted to do a load of soup, so I've just ordered from Amazon some um, plastic screw top um, soup containers. Uh, so they should arrive later today, but when when I get around to doing the soup is, is anybody's guess. Before I even start doing that, I've got to go through the veg drawer um, in the fridge, um, empty that out completely, 
clean it out so I know what veg needs using up first then the stuff that I bought yesterday can go into the drawer it's like I say everything it's 15 different jobs before I actually achieve anything so the soups that I want to make I want to do leek and potato because we love that I want to do lentil which uh, always makes me laugh um, years and years and years ago when I first met Neil he wouldn't go near a lentil if you paid him and then one day he came home from work and had this great big pan of lentil soup on there and I said don't touch that you won't like it and it's like well what is it and I said well it's spicy lentil soup so he tried it and he said oh I love it and it's it's one of his favorites now as well but just goes to show and then I just wanted to do just um uh, just a winter vegetable soup, you know, with just all, all the old root vegetables um, gets made up. And then I wanted to do some, um, like a macaroni cheese, but add, when Neil cooks macaroni cheese, it's literally macaroni in a cheese sauce. I like it with onion and other things in there as well, you know, maybe some mushrooms if we've got some, bit of bacon if there is any, you know, I like all that in there and he and also he literally does the pasta and pours the sauce on top I like it kind of baked in the oven with um, mozzarella cheese on top so you get a lovely crust on the top and you know so it's a bit more of a an exciting dinner as it were and then I wanted to make up some crumble mixes to go in the freezer because I've got frozen fruit in there that if you pull out the blackberries and the apple just throw them frozen into a casserole dish throw some crumble mix on top stick it in the oven you know it will defrost as it cooks you get the lovely um crumble topping and that's a really nice dessert that takes almost no effort except for the crumble itself but if i could make up a whole load of it which is part of the reason why i bought so much butter yesterday if i could just make up a great big load of it and then divide it into um amounts for just one at a time one crumble at a time then you can just go to the freezer pull out your apple pull out your black currant pull out your crumble mix and then it's it's all just done so that's what i'm kind of planning to do but um it takes an enormous amount of effort and the only time that i have any energy at all is first thing in the morning so i have to get up and get on with things early um or otherwise you know I just don't get to achieve anything at all so what's left to do today is I have to do the vegetable drawer so that I know whether I'm coming and go or going with that and I really need to get started on on the meat pretty soon because it's taking up the whole of the fridge and it's got to get cooked and moved into a freezer because we just don't have the space there to um to house it all and if I put it all straight into the freezer which I could do but then we've got to defrost it to cook it so it kind of makes life a little bit difficult so um yeah what else was i going to talk about i, I had i was going to tell you about the day that because I've, I've been doing vlogtober and i've been doing really really well at uploading videos but then i had one of those days where everything that could possibly go wrong was going wrong and I thought I'll tell you about that and do you know what I can't remember what happened <laughs> I know that I was poorly so the day started late um I know that one of my um I'd sold a mug on eBay and when it arrived the lady contacted me and said it's got a flaw on the on the picture on the printing and I said well yeah that's why i took photos of the floor and said about it in the description you know i'm absolutely honest if anything isn't completely 100 percent, i will say it's got this wrong with it um and be absolutely open and but it, it just kind of throws me off a little bit when when people are saying uh, are implying that something is my fault when i've done everything that i can to say this is a lovely mug however it does have um, a bit of the print missing on on the picture it's it's not a chip it's and i even took a photo of the light across it so you could see that the light was reflecting all the way across and it was the the floor was actually underneath the glaze so i've done everything that i could to 
to show it in its in its honest light and then there were some other things that it was just one of those things where everything was going wrong but but if it if I've completely forgotten about what the other things are they can't be that bad can they so it's probably best forgotten but I'm just very very well aware that I really want to catch up with um, with what I'm doing with uploading videos but I've got the problem with this camera which I cannot get sorted out then that problem that I had with the with the iPhone I don't know why it did it in the first place it's never happened before um, and then it got into it in order to correct it you're going into all kinds of code and you know I'm just not that technically minded so so anyway that's today's random waffle that's probably all I've got time for today but like I say I just wanted to get something recorded and get it up so that we're on our way with it okay that's it for today then lots of love bye